Sheree Kurarangi knows that life in the mongrel mob can be tough and sometimes brutal. So she's turned her home into a place of refuge. We're not emergency housing. We're crisis accommodation. We come for you when there's a massive crisis coming on. Though she's opened up her whare to the mongrel mob and their whanau, she maintains she's actually doing all of us in society a favour too. Let me tell you something right now. Every single person in New Zealand knows somebody who knows a gang member. So guess what? You're all affiliated. Sheree of Ngāti Kahungunu was born into the mob, but says the odds that were stacked against her and others like her start even earlier than birth, at conception. From the time they're conceived, right, this is them here, being conceived, their life conditions drop significantly. Why? Mummy could be smoking and drinking, hmm? doing a little bit of meth on the side here and there, eh? But mummy's also probably living in a violent relationship and or homeless and transient. Okay, so automatically all those things are working at our deficit for our tamariki, eh? Cherie takes the timeline even further back to explore the whakapapa which landed tamariki into this space. Like what happened to mum and dad, or their grandparents. Uh, intergenerational trauma, mum could have been raped, that could have been how this baby was made. That's all before this baby's born. The average life expectancy of a gang member in New Zealand is only just 45 years. It's 45 years, eh? The kaimahi working alongside her start life as underdogs, but every underdog responds to a freshly steamed hangi, a karakia before it's served, a safe place to wānanga real-world issues, and an open area for tamariki to play. All simple things that can make a huge difference. She provides a place where help is available, where mums can spend quality time with their tamariki because she sees too many who only have an hour a week of supervised access. That's not how we should be running supervised access in Aotearoa. You know, not for our whānau. Um, what you need is you need a home, whānau focused environment where whānau can engage. When mum is able to cook a kai, that's why I have this facility here. And she says welfare services such as Oranga Tamariki would be well served by familiarising themselves with what's actually happening in the gangs. Government organisations like Oranga Tamariki, like Ministry of Social Development, I really recommend some cultural training in gang whānau. Okay, let's be honest. You, you really need to be able to work alongside us, okay, because we're your biggest problem in New Zealand right now, okay? Okay, few would argue with that or that Sheree Kurarangi is setting an example of how to effectively engage with the hardest to reach people in our team of five million.